What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be doing a top 10 video for you guys. And for this top 10 today that we are going to be doing, it is going to be all about San Diego Comic Con 2020 and talking about the top 10 figures that I am excited to get. You know, the other day we covered the Pick Fed figures that I'm excited to get that I will be including in the Pick Fed when I do indeed get them in hand and stuff like that. So I will be uh, I will be getting those figures for the Pick Fed. But today we're not going to be talking about the Pick Fed. We're talking about the top 10 figures that I am just excited excited for for my collection to have in hand to pose around to play with just talking about just chilling there posing it around having fun with the figure you know displaying it all of that good stuff this is my top 10 wants for San Diego Comic Con 2020 and we got 10 awesome figures here that I cannot wait to get into so with that being said guys diving in I also plan on doing a video where I talked about some fix ups you could do with some of these new figures but it's kind of difficult to do that I feel like that would require more time but if, uh, if I think of any throughout the video I'll definitely let you guys know about it but diving in first guys let's start off with number 10 and coming in at number 10 may be a shocker I think this may be a slip figure here but I am going with the stunning Steve Austin from Elite Series 82 I think it's 82 it could be Elite 81 I think it's Elite Series 82 stunning Steve Austin this is a beautiful figure man I love this head sculpt and everything like that again growing up it was Stone Cold Steve Austin this is before that this is WCW Steve Austin and this is a beautiful figure I don't know what it is it just looks like one of those figures that's gonna be fun to pose around hopefully he doesn't have a loose waist and hopefully uh, this WCW Tag Team Championship looks good I really am looking forward to getting this figure in hand and customizing this head sculpt maybe I can turn it into a Stone Cold Steve Austin so that is something that I really want to do and I just I just love the way this figure looks I know it's weird I know it's a sleeper figure but number 10 is stunning Steve Austin coming in at number nine guys this is kind of cheap but uh it's it's my top 10 all right and I want to include these guys at at, at, at their own spot. I don't want to go, you know, one member and then another member. So I'm going with the Undisputed Era. Number nine is Undisputed Era. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. You have Elite 79 Bobby Fish and Elite 80 Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, I'm going with the, uh, you know, the War Games attire. Definitely the War Games attire. Now, the Chase variants, I will definitely be trying to track down, but my uh, my eyes are on the War Games attires. I got to put them next to my Roddy Strong. I got to get a Adam Cole in the same attire. Hopefully, we end up getting that from Mattel. Thanks a lot to everyone who voted not for the War Games attire. Thank you for voting for the Fan Central black attire for some reason. Idiot. But seriously, though, I want the War Games Adam Cole to go with my Undisputed Era on the shelf, so I am definitely going Undisputed Era with the War games gear Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly no doubt about it at my number nine spot coming in at number eight is going to be Hollywood Hulk Hogan the undisputed undisputed I was about to say the undisputed edition Hulk Hogan no but seriously uh, speaking of which we do need an undisputed champion Hulk Hogan but that's besides the point I'm going ultimate edition Hulk Hogan the NWO Hulk Hogan I think he is going to come with the NWO t-shirt and the glasses and the weight belt and the bandana and all of the good stuff so this figure is going to be one of the figures of the year you guys know that the fiend is also a part of this Ultimate Edition series wave with Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and uh, that had to be on my list. I'm not a Hulk Hogan guy, but Hollywood Hulk Hogan brings me great nostalgia back to when I was like four and five years old, so I definitely want this figure. While I was never a big Hulk Hogan fan, I just love the way the figure looks, and I think uh, I, I was always obsessed with his boots and uh, just the way his gear was. I just loved it, so I really want it in figure form, so Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan is number eight. Coming in at number seven, guys, it's got to be Keith Lee. Bask in his glory. Number seven, got to be Keith Lee. I'm just really looking forward to posing this guy around, seeing what he's about. One fix-up I can say about this guy is I'm definitely going to take out his large knee pads and put smaller knee pads on him because I can't stand the larger knee pads. You can't even bend the knee. So uh, I am definitely going to be doing that. That will be a surgery video for sure. We will be switching out our Keith Lee knee pads. And if I can think of any other fix-ups for this guy, I will definitely let you guys know. This is the Chase variant of Keith Keith Lee, so who knows what we're going to get for his other attire. I would guess probably a black attire, but Keith Lee's coming in at my number seven spot. Number six is going to be getting the smoke. We got the Street Profits coming in at number six. I'm really excited for these because they're new. You know, we got new body molds coming in here. You got some cool accessories, all kinds of stuff going on with Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. I cannot wait to add these guys to my collection. They, they just look great. I, again, we've talked about Montez Ford and the head sculpt and stuff like that, but for me, uh, these Street Profits look great. I'm a Montez Ford fan first. You know, I really love Montez Ford. I think he's got the he's got the smoke to, to do the thing singles division-wise, man. He's got all of the traits that it takes. And I think that Angelo Dawkins is just as good. And, you know, they're, they're both together greatly. But I am really happy for the Street Profits coming in. And we're definitely going to get those guys in the pick fed as soon as we can. But
but the Street Profits are definitely at number six in my top 10 wants from San Diego Comic Con. Number five is going to be the Survivor Series John Morrison. Now, I'm actually surprised this figure was so high. Now, one thing I will say is if it comes with any other accessories, I don't think it does because we've already seen the mock images. You know, in the mock image, you don't see any coats, you don't see any cloth accessories, which would probably make this figure over the top, honestly. But uh, maybe his other figure that we're getting this year, his Elite 82 figure, I do believe. Hopefully, with that figure, we will get a cloth accessory, whether it be a t-shirt or a robe. Let's cross our fingers for a robe for that guy. But Survivor Series Morrison, just the colors of this guy and the, and the likeness of a young Johnny Nitro, almost John Morrison. You could probably fix him up and make a Johnny Nitro, no problem. But this uh, Survivor Series Morrison is just a beautiful figure. I love the way it looks. I like the colors and everything. Really pops off. So he comes in at number five. Coming in at number four, guys, we have the Decade of Dominance Kane figure. Now, we only have two images of this guy. You got the out-of-package image where he's just standing there with his accessories. And then you have the in-package image, which you guys know it comes with two interchangeable head sculpts. I missed out on the ringside exclusive 2002 era Kane when it came out. And that figure is super sought after. It's one of the rarest WWE Mattel Elite figures there is. And I'm excited that we're pretty much getting a re-release of that. And we're getting a new head sculpt with, you know, the moment where you masked himself on Monday Night Raw so this is a figure that is nostalgic for me it looks great I love both uh, you know faces on it I like the hair head sculpt with the burn marks I like the bald head sculpt I gotta get two of them because I gotta have one with the black towel I gotta have one unmasked I may even have to get one to put in the mask for that era of Kane so we'll just have to see about that but I had to include Decade of Dominance Kane in my top five and it comes in at number four just really excited to get that figure for some reason and maybe we can get some fix-ups going on that guy um, coming in at number three is something that we already knew we were getting, but seeing it in final figure form, and it actually went up for pre-order on Target.com the other day, is going to be Legend Series 8 Eddie Guerrero. This figure looks so freaking good, man. I love the head sculpt. I love the attire. I love the boots. I love the I'm Your Poppy t-shirt. I mean, this right here, man. If you grew up as a wrestling fan during the Ruthless Aggression era as a kid, you knew that you loved Eddie Guerrero, and this just captures him beautifully. This is a beautiful figure, and I want to pay homage to the legend himself here, and uh, I always enjoyed him growing up. Watching SmackDown was a total treat watching Eddie Guerrero, man. He is just a beautiful piece. This figure is a beautiful piece, and I gotta add it to the collection. It had to come in at number three. Uh, it was up for pre-order on Target.com if you guys missed the pre-order. Um, I know that people are having trouble with their Legend Series 7 from pre-order from Target, so I don't know if you, just because you, you lock this up doesn't mean anything. Apparently, they're getting back on pre-order, and they're going to stores before they're even shipping them out to the people who pre-ordered, which is usually not how pre-orders work, which is kind of scare me because I did pre-order the Legends Eddie Guerrero, so hopefully that is not the problem we get here. Hopefully they're easy to track down for the Legends Eddie Guerrero, but that had to come in at number three. That is a beautiful specimen. Had to put it there. Let's go into number two, guys. Let's go with an AEW figure. You probably already know. It's got to be freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. Now, this is one of those figures that any figure that's probably going to be used in the pick fed is probably going to, you know, creep up the tier a little bit, and that has to go for this Orange Cassidy. Anytime I get to replace a custom from my collection that I've used in the pick fed, and, you know, I get to finally replace it with something that doesn't, you know, I don't have to worry about paint chip. I don't have to worry about any weird part selections and stuff like that. This is one of those figures that just fits beautifully right into the pick fed. It fits, it fits beautifully right into the collection. I don't have to worry about anything. It's going to come with the cloth accessories as we saw. It's got the freaking thumbs up hand. It's got the in the pockets hands. I, I, I have the little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho figure that I know what I'm getting as far as quality and as far as goodness that I'm going to get from the AEW Unrivaled collection. So I know how good this Orange Cassidy is going to be. That's why it's so high on the list. I just know how good it's going to be. And if you own the AEW Chris Jericho, Jericho, you know how good it is. So that is why my excitement level for this Orange Cassidy is through the roof here, and it had to come in at the number two spot. It honestly could be the number one spot, but I did put it at the number two spot because the number one spot for me is very awesome. It's a moment that I watched last year. I even have a reaction video of it up on the channel, and number one is going to be the Ultimate Edition Series 8 Edge figure, and this just looks beautiful, man. I love this figure. I love, uh, I love the head sculpt to death. I, when I first saw him return, you guys, saw, I have a video of it on the channel right now of me reacting to him returning. Edge has always been one of my favorites of all time, so seeing that moment live there, watching the Rumble, having him return, he looked great. It was a great moment. The the entrance jacket with the interchangeable arms is something I will totally use in the pick fed. Uh, him and Randy Orton are rated RKO in the pick fed. They look like their eyes are set on. The 
the World Tag Team Championships going into My Damn Nation. So the uh, this this figure is just definitely my number one. I, it is definitely the figure I'm most excited about. I can't wait to see what the head sculpt looks like in final production. If the uh, torso ends up being crappy or something, I have no issue with switching it out with a Seth Rollins torso or something else. I really don't care. I just really want this figure in hand. I'm really excited about how it's going to look and everything. So this is an Instacot for me. I mean, I'll probably grab two or three of them. You know, hopefully we can actually see this thing at retail. I know some Ultimate Editions are getting pushed out to retail like we saw with the HBK and the Brock. Hopefully moving forward with uh, Edition Series 5, 6, 7. Uh, I know 6 is ringside and Amazon exclusive with the Rock and Charlotte, but for this Edge figure, I hope that I'm able to track down a lot. I was able to track down a lot of the Finn Balor and the Triple H, so hopefully that's the same case for Edge here because I want to do some different fix-ups and customs and stuff with it, and uh, I am excited to use him in the pick fed and pose him around. And uh, that is why he comes in at the number one spot, man. I'm just super excited to use it. And I think it is safe to say I'll probably be able to use this at My Damn Nation. And uh, that that is awesome to me. I can't wait to do that. But that is pretty much it for my top 10 figures that I want from San Diego Comic-Con. Guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. I would love to know what figures you want the most, whether you give me your whole top 10, whether you give me just your top one down in the comment section below. That is fine with me. I just really, uh, I had a lot of fun. I love doing top 10s. I love doing tier lists and stuff like that. We're still going to be doing our ringside exclusive tier list video very soon, so look out for that. I had a ton with the top 10. It actually took me a while. I actually had 31 total figures written down that I'm really excited about, and then I had to take that 31 figures and then narrow it down to a top 10, so I did. Uh, it took me like an hour to come up with this list, uh, 30 minutes to an hour to, you know, compile the list, make the list top 10, and kind of reorganize them and stuff like that, but I feel confident in this top 10. Again, the top three could probably interchange and stuff, but I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Let me know what your top 10 down is down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.